I remember when I first started writing Google queries and doing date comparisons, either pulling data before a certain date, after a certain date, you know, equal to a certain date. Um, it was kind of a pain to, to get a feel for how you could write that because uh, it's not really in the documentation anywhere. So let's write some basic date comparison queries um, based on this Twitter data I have in columns D through G here. Uh, so you can get a feel for how to work with dates and queries. So first let's write a basic query function. We're taking columns D through G, um, which has our Twitter data. And let's select um, all of the tweet text from column E where D, the date, is after, let's say, August 22nd, so 8-22-16. So first thing you have to do is write date in front of the, the text string. Um, put your date in single quotes, and you have to type it in the year, 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 dash month, month, dash date, date, day, day format. So that the really the key here is date, and then in single quotes, a very specifically formatted date. Great, so you'll see here that this pulls, let's see, five tweets out of our sample eight. Um, these middle four that are at, on 824, and then the last one. But what if we have a date that's living, say we typed 822, 2016 up here, and we wanted to use this kind of dynamic value uh, for our query comparison. Uh, we're gonna have to change up our, our syntax a little bit. So first thing is we want to, let's remove, we wanna leave these single quotes in here because we'll need them, but let's delete what's in the middle. Let's close the query and we're gonna have to use ampersands in here. Basically what we're doing here is this query is just a long string of text, right? It's in double quotes, it's, it's just text. So we need to add into the query the date formatted as text, just as we had it before in year, 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 month, month, date, date. Um, so if we'll notice, let's see, our cell is B2, and this isn't formatted in that, in that text format. So we're gonna have to use a function called the text function to get it there. And you'll see this error here invalidate literal should be form year, year, month, month, date, date. So that's what that error is telling you is you need to format your date in the correct text format. So let's use this function called text and we'll take do that in the cell and then we'll just type our format is year, 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 month, month, date, date. And it looks like It looks like that actually isn't even working. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, the wrong cell. B1, and there we go. Okay, good stuff. So that is how to work with dates in a Google Sheets query. It's really nothing more, I, I never found myself doing anything more complex than this query here. Um, and if you wanna download a, a copy, a Google Sheet that has a cheat sheet with all of this information on it and also background on eight or nine other formulas, um, you can do so at the link in the description. Take care.